everyone, I'm Stephanie of Steph Plus Verb and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you how I made my May Queen dress from the movie Midsummer. I really love this movie, which is probably pretty strange, but it really resonated with me. And also I love Florence Pugh and her performance in this film is just so good. Um, and I was just like transfixed by everything in it. So Dragon Con was coming up 2019 uh, after I saw this movie. And I had about a month and a half to do something from it. And originally I was just gonna make her white frock with like the big crown that she wears after she wins the competition. But I knew that Dragon Con is a very iconic convention and I wanted to do something a little crazier. So I was possessed by some sort of insanity and then I figured out how to make, how I was gonna go about making the dress and then the rest just was history, I guess. Um, unfortunately, I didn't take a lot of videos of me making the dress, however, I do have a lot of photos from the process, so I'm going to walk you through how I made it in case you also feel like being insane and making this monstrous flower slug and being buried in hundreds of flowers and leaves. So let's get started. My idea really took off when I realized I could use a hoop skirt as the base, and instead of tying it around my waist like a normal hoop skirt, I decided to tie it around my neck so that it would be this huge thing coming off my body like it is in the movie. Um, however, I noticed that when I put it on, it is a bit short and hers, you know, sweeps across the whole ground as she walks and how that's how I started calling it the flower slug because it trails behind her. I originally planned to use some scrap fabric to add all the way around the dress to cover my legs like it does hers in the movie, but then I realized I was gonna be wearing it at a convention all day. That was very crowded because I think Dragon Con brings in like 80,000 people. <laughs> so, and it's also a lot of walking. So I decided that I would just let my legs be free. So I sewed the scrap fabric to the back of it to make a train so that I would still have that sweeping look as I walked around the con. This is not a very good demonstration, but you can kind of see <laughs> how it works. I then cut little armholes on either side of the dress. Here's one, peekaboo, uh, because I needed a little bit more mobility. And because I also noticed that Danny even has little T-Rex arms sticking out when she is walking through the field. So I cut out these little holes. You can even kind of see the, my markings here. And then I sealed them with super glue, which I do not recommend. And that was a terrible idea because it kind of made this all weird and crunchy. But, you know, what are you gonna do? In hindsight, I would have used hot glue instead of super glue. So do not make the same mistakes I did. And then began the madness. I ordered a set of bulk vines and bulk flowers from Dollar Tree. This cost about $150, and I knew I was on the path of insanity by then, but there was no turning back at that point. <laughs> I started by gluing the vines and strips down the hoop skirt as a base, and then I hot glued all of the leaves down so that they were extra padded down. And then I began to use E6000 and layer by horrible layer <laughs> added the flowers all over it. I chose to use E6000 rather than hot glue because it was a bit more durable. It took a bit longer to dry than the instantaneousness that is hot glue, but it has held up incredibly well. Like this thing has survived three conventions and a move and I've lost only a couple flowers in the process. <laughs> so I would say that it was a good decision. And also if you're ever working with E6000, don't forget to wear safety gear because I did not and I was working in a very tiny apartment in the middle of summer and my and it was in Chicago and the weather was hot and the windows did not offer much relief unfortunately uh, so that was pretty much it the process is just gluing the flowers down I went to Michael's flower section about 50 times and ordered more bulk packages of flowers from Amazon throughout this whole ordeal and I just kept gluing and gluing and gluing I had a few mental breakdowns wondering if this idea was actually a stupid money pit and I was <laughs> you know regretting all of my life decisions but with each layer I could see that it was actually becoming the thing I wanted it to be and I also must thank all of my glorious cheerleaders who got me through this 
very one-of-a-kind con crunch. Once the dress was done, I knew I needed something to wear under it because it hung a little bit low when I wore just the dress. And also I didn't want it to be <laughs> completely naked under there. That would have been a fun surprise, but you know, very on brand for Dragon Con. So I bought a plain white t-shirt from Michaels and just glued a bunch of flowers around the neckline and it hangs perfectly around it. And that's pretty much it. I would say the hot glue did make the collar get a lot tighter. So getting it on the first time was a bit of a struggle, but I think it all turned out fine. I also, of course, made the crown that she wears with the dress. The base was actually made at a friend's midsummer party with a bunch of awesome ladies. So that's kind of a cool touch and a special memory associated with the crown. It's made of a bunch of plastic flowers and stems woven together, but wearing it for a long period of time was a bit uncomfortable. So I decided to add some EVA foam on the inside to give it more of a solid, comfortable base. I just glued some strips together and that was all, nothing too fancy there. For the little antlers or antenna on the top, I used flower wire. I wrapped three wires together, glued them to the base, and then glued flowers all over the wires. I wanted them to be a bit bouncy as she as I walked because, you know, hers bounce as she walks. So all in all, the dress and crown has more than 800 flowers on it. And it took me about 40 hours of time to put this together, but I think it was all worth it because I had such a fun reception at the cons that I've worn to, which was Dragon Con, Daisho Con, and C2E2 2020, the only con that I got to go to in 2020. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments or anything else you'd like to see from me, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more cosplay and gaming videos. You can also follow me on all of the socials at Steph Plus Verb, and I also stream on Twitch a few times a week, also at Steph Plus Verb. So thank you for watching. Bye!